Sky Uppercut with uh, Pokemon? Are we there? Okay, just making sure. I was like, does he know that he's saying Pokemon stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does, yo. I mean, sometimes. Even now, I get the reference here and there. I did play Fire Red yeah, and Lift Green or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, I did play those two. That's when I... That's when one summer I got into, really into Pokemon because I wasn't into first. Yeah. Ruben and Max were. And then I had nothing to do in the summer. And then it's like, you know what? Ruben said, uh, I'm playing the DS version already. Just play the Game Boy. And I was like, fine, I'm playing the Game Boy. And I got so hooked on Fire Red. You mean to tell me you were like going hamstead on Pokemon, bro? Yeah, I was. Like, yo, I literally was. Yo, you need to, you got to switch. You got to get Sword and Shield so we could all go on raids, yo. You, you swear. I'm like, dead. Once, dead. I, I'm once dead. I finished with those two, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I said there was no point in buying more because it's yeah. just yeah. the same Now, nah, you, you missed out on some gems, bro. Like what? You missed out on some good gems. <laughs> like what? Like Pokemon. Uh, you, let me see. You missed out on... Did you play oh, Ruby and Sapphire? <coughs> uh, I think so, yeah. Play Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, Diamond yeah. and Pearl, really good. Um, most people don't like black and white. Black, black, black and white. Was really I played good. Ruby, but I'm not that fan. And, but then, um, did you Soul Silver, Heart Gold, really good? Too? Nah, nah, fuck those. Wow, you are a hater. <laughs> <laughs> too old for me. I was like, nah, I can't go. Oh like that. my god, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Let, let's start this shit, yo. Go ahead, All right, man. Go, go ahead, hope for this. Yeah, we, I was, we were live anyways. Um, all right, so we gonna get to this Bethesda. Uh, BE3, you know, they want to be clever and whatnot. This might be a quick one, actually, because they didn't really show anything that crazy, that interesting. So, we're going to kickstart it with Ray this time. So, Ray, go ahead, yo. What you think about the conference? Odesta 2019 was the best press conference. Of all I think of the day. All right. Of the day. You stole the show. <laughs> My had nothing. Yo, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I'm sorry right I mean, now. That Elder Screams, the Elder Scrolls Blades for the Switch, amazing. Yeah. Um, I might get it. Just, I still have, I don't have the Switch now, so I might get it. Fuck it, just you, get into Elder. You gonna, you gonna get Elder Scrolls on the Switch? Yeah, the best console ever. The PC has nothing against it. Oh my God. You know, <laughs> every, every single guy here in this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Kenneth knows that the PC has nothing on the Switch. Yo, no, you, the Xbox. yo, son, you, might, the you actually might get choked for that comment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, I yeah, mean, so Bethesda oh, did have the best conference of the day. I agree with shit. that. Yo, you know, yo, 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 you know what's <laughs> you know what crazy? Uh, I, I want Bethesda to fucking die, man. Like, and their conference was better than fucking Microsoft. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Like, I went into to this E3 like, yo, Microsoft's about to fucking kill it. And they shot themselves in the foot. I'm sorry. And then Bethesda came out. I'm like, okay, everybody about to, they about to get roasted by everybody. Yo, they legit have fucking slaves. They're just like, yeah, Bethesda. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah Bethesda. If you went to Bethesda with low expectations, you went to Microsoft with high expectations. <laughs> yo, for real. Like, <laughs> look, the thing is, I didn't even go into Microsoft with high. I was like, okay, I'm going to go with mid, but I'm expect. I was expect. The thing is, I think because I was expecting them to to give us information on shit that they were talking about, and they didn't. Yeah. And then like, but that's not like whatever. I don't give a fuck. And they gave me a better show. I'm just like, yo, fuck with that, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I mean, the way I see it is that we should just get just some stuff out of the way first. <laughs> uh, one is um. Rage, new content, who gives a shit? Um, Yo, first of all, I'm sick and tired of these um, companies t talking about showing the same the game that's been out already. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what's the point of showing at E3? You got new content? Okay, cool. You could make that a video. Like, why? Yeah. What's the point of it? Yeah, and they're expecting to have new content every week. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> next is the Elder Scrolls Legends, the card game on mobile devices. They have new cards. The end. Oh, uh, Commander Keen, enough said. That yo, that uh, game, honestly, that game gonna be fire. That that game gonna be fire. No, that it looks like a flash game. Yeah, that's uh, true. No, really I, I, I'm, I'm lying. No, nah, I'm lying. That game looked like straight garbage. Like yeah, the, when it first started, it looked like it was gonna be pretty interesting. And yeah. Then once they showed gameplay, it was trash. Yeah, like it, it really did look like a fucking flash game, yo. It's, yeah, it's, it's 
trash. I like, yo, um, you, aren't you supposed to be like a high, like, you know, billion dollar studio? <laughs> Million. And, uh, elsewhere. Um, yeah, so Elder Scrolls Online, Elsewhere, uh, Expansion is going to get more shit. Yeah. The, the end, Dragon Quest I mean, Blade, Dragon Quest, <laughs> uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Blade. Yo, look, look, is... look how many Elder Scrolls they got up in here. They got Elder Scrolls Blade, Elder Scrolls Legends, um, Elder Scrolls Online Expansion. Like, how much Elder Scrolls do we fucking need? Yeah, and it has uh, Elder Scrolls Blades is going to have new Dragon Quest and a new jewelry system. Again, just get money out of you. So, yeah. So those are the trash-ass things that didn't matter. Yeah, you like those you have those games. Wire, yeah, man. those games didn't matter. But now, like, we actually talk about the new games they show, which was kind of... No, wait, wait. Kind of really you, piqued on my interest. What? You most talk about the new game What? Fallout? 26? Uh, first, first, hold first. on, hold on. You said 26? 76. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said 26. Uh, like, you for real, bro? <laughs> Anyways, uh, like, uh, no, 76 is a whole other topic, y'all. No, 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 no. First, we talk about Orion. We do this first, and then we go to 76. All right, go ahead. Orion. Honestly, I, I, I kind of was lost in translation with Orion because I was fucking around during the live stream. So, uh, go ahead. What was Orion about? Okay, so Ryan is uh, your way to stream games. So X Cloud? No, kind kind of, but not really. So the way it works is that it's supposed to help them stream games by implementing that kind of functionality into the 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 high the high no low end of the gaming. Okay. Of the API, so so when you're making the game, you include it in the game. That way, it, it improves latency, it improves uh, uh, stream delay, syncing, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it looks pretty interesting, but we didn't see that much detail about it, so that's about it. Oh, okay. It sounds like it's they they. I've noticed they mentioned 4K 60 FPS. Yes. Yeah. So, so you said you'd be able to stream it at 4K 60 FPS. So does that mean I get to play the games at 4K 60? I don't think so. No. Oh. See, that's the, that was deceiving because I was like, I, was like, I mean, like, if you have a strong enough computer, sure, but I mean, but you're just streaming, right? Like you're just right, streaming the yeah. game. You're not really using your computer's hardware to stream the game, right? No, no, no. It's not. It's not to stream the game. It's to well, I don't know if it's to stream the game, but I think they meant stream to like Twitch, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that cut. Okay, never mind. All right, I could, I could, I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Okay, uh, I, I thought it was that kind of streaming service. Okay, never mind. Yeah. If it's that, then they probably try to do their own like Twitch thing. Oh no, no, no! You're right. You're right. It's cloud gaming. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, see, I think everyone's trying to do this whole cloud shit, <laughs> but yeah. um, I think the way Microsoft is doing it is gonna be the most successful way, where you own your games, you can, you have, you can. I was, oh, I wonder. Well, it, it, it depends because. If if this is really supposed to be a part of the game itself, uh, it's, it's possible you can get better performance out of it versus you know having to like create middle uh, middleware to stream the game to to the, on the cloud. Yeah. So it's possible it can that could solve the latency problem. Because when I was watching that, um, I was thinking, what if that's what Google figured out by like making some plugin that could go into the game. It could just improve the latency. Yeah, that's true, but status th- is is that shit they don't know right well anyways. But oh, yeah, sure. like, but they yeah, probably ha- they're probably gonna have the infrastructure, and they might if they if Stadia fails, they probably like be able to sell that shit to somebody. Yeah, and the thing is, is that. But then again, so, Google never sells shit; they buy stuff. True, but the thing is, Bethesda is letting you run 2016 game, Doom at 60 frames 4K. Oh, that's a low bar. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, almost anything can run at 4K. Uh-huh. So next they're gonna be like, "Hey, you want to run 76 at 4K?" You know, even yeah, though the game I, I want to see them broken. run like Dishonored 2 at 4K, where it's like really demanding. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I, this whole streaming shit, man. That I don't know, man. This shit sound a little spooky. Um, that's Orion. Orion, Orion, or yeah, Orion. I say Orion, Orion. I said whatever, <laughs> same shit. Um, Ray, what do you th- what do you think about Orion? I mean, I don't care. 
You're right. I don't care either because fuck Bethesda. Um, all right, think, so yeah, hold, I mean, hold for their side, to be honest. Nah, yeah. Right, so speaking, of, so speaking of Doom, let's talk about some Doom Eternal. We're going to talk about Doom? All right. I mean, Doom was, wasn't was like Doom like their best part of the, the conference. Was it? Was it? I don't know. They spent a whole lot of time on it. They did, but I don't think it was the best part of the conference. I don't think either. But a lot of people think it was. I'm like, nah. I mean, the thing is, like, I played the first Doom, the reboot. Yeah. I played on. I think I made, gave myself with this uh, this um this service because I played it on Xbox. Yeah. Should I played it on comp- on PC? But sure. it was really really fucking boring. Yeah. This yeah. game yeah. looks exactly yeah. like the first Doom with some new shit. It, it looks like yeah. It looks like with this Doom, they're going into like angels and shit. Um, Finally. Uh, it looks like. Because they were saying that, oh, if you continue on your path, you're going to invoke the, the wrath of the heavens or something like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, so now he's going to have to kill demons and angels. Uh, or is he just, or is the demon just BSing? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems kind of, uh, it seems like Doom. You just go around kill things. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's the thing. It's like, what Doom doesn't really have. Doom is really about just going around killing shit. That's it. And make in a, in a cool ass way. You know what I mean? If you like that kind of that old school kind of game style, like, touche. But like, I need something else. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I, I was gonna. I thought I was gonna enjoy Doom, but I, I was. It was just fucking boring. Maybe Doom Eternal's will be different for me because there was some stuff they were doing in the game that was kind of cool. Like the mobility's yeah. a lot better, so like you get to move Looks around like the map it. faster. So maybe that yeah. will you know change the how fun the game might be. Who knows? What's, uh. But at the end of the day, it's Doom. You know, it's gonna it's gonna sell because it's fucking Doom. Yeah. Um. So, but not a bad game. I just personally found it boring. All right. All right. Um. Then they then they did show multiplayer, but they didn't. Well, they announced it, but they didn't show it. All right. It's called battle mode. Um. But you get to play the demons as demons now. Yeah. But like, I don't know, cause the demons in the first game were fucking busted. Yes. yes so, so, so if you can just play them off the bat, I hope they nerf them. It, it looks like, like they said what was this? Oh, something versus skill, Slayer versus skill, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, maybe the demons are kind of strong, and maybe like there's like they can be avoided or something. I, 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 I hope they're not broken, cause man, that's gonna ruin the fucking multiplayer. That's what ruined the multiplayer for Doom in the first place. Yeah. It was fun until you either. Right. Yeah, you, you could not do jack shit against the demon. If you were the demon, you were legit Rambo. Like you, they couldn't stop yeah. you. It was crazy. Yeah. So maybe they'll um, balance it out to where it's not too crazy and, and their their multiplayer won't fucking die. Yeah. What about you, Ray? I don't right play Doom. Yeah, you don't play the games. Reason, no, no. The reason why I play Doom is because I never played the first one. Um, you know what Doom is, though, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's because of the movie, you know. Oh, Won't wow. Be oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Did you just fucking say the movie, bro? <laughs> no, okay, no. Like, I know, I mean, I, I know. Oh, my oh, God. Because of the movie, like, people start, oh, yeah, they mentioned the game. If I, if hey, I man, look, the movie did its job. It advertised oh, for the game. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. I mean, yeah, come on, come on. I never said the movie was great. I just said it. <laughs> Because of the movie, but, I know. But, but the fact I, that I, you, the, the fact that you didn't know what Doom was until the movie, it's crazy. But hey, look, they did their job. They advertised for the game. Right. Now you know what the game is. They they won at the end of the day. They got exactly what they wanted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that'll do. What about Wolfenstein, particularly Cyber Pilot? Uh, Cyber Pilot. Uh, Cyber Pilot is the VR, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna uh, look. I, I used to bash v, VR when it first came out because it was just all experiences. But then once I it played... Looks like a, it looked like a, a VFAT, too. Yeah. When, once I played Resident Evil 7 in VR, yo, I was hooked. That that shit was fire. I played Doom in VR, too, and that was garbage because you couldn't really have... You didn't have much control over your character. Oh, uh, just say it because Doom was garbage. <laughs> no, legit. Like, Doom was... You could not control your character the way you wanted it to in the in VR. It was it was really bad, uh, but in Resident Evil, you legit would be able to carry, control. You can use the controller. I mean, some people say you got this with the controller. I didn't. People are pussies. But you, it was a really good experience because if you, especially if you're using headphones, like really good headphones, and you just hear like the the crickets and the roaches crawling around. You hear the screeches. It was it was really dope experience, and I wanted more games 
to actually use VR instead of VR just being ex um, demos and experiences, make them actual games. So Wolfenstein, if that's like a game made for VR instead of an experience, maybe. Yeah. I just hope they don't use the same mechanics they use in the Doom VR and Wolfenstein or else it's going to be straight, for, straight trash. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll be... Uh... Uh, uh, I think it's just gonna be trash anyway. Yeah, <laughs> like I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's like whatever, bro. Yeah, I think Cyberpunk is not gonna be that good. Yeah, Cyberpilot. Yeah, not, not Cyberpunk. Um, but then they had another yeah. Wolfenstein game, you know, Young Blood, which is what the third game now in the series. Uh, I think it's like the fifth or sixth actually. Well, in the, in the reboot. Yeah. Uh huh. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, so the Wolfenstein game that came out like what? There was, there was a few. There was the the old guy too. No, but then it wasn't the the latest Wolfenstein game, the second one. Uh yeah. No, no, but they had some in a in a, in a past. Yeah, so it was um. No, but they rebooted the series, right? So we only had two games in the reboot. No, 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 because no. it was Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein: The New Order, Wolfenstein: The Old Blood, uh, Wolfenstein: Two: The New Colossus, then okay. Wolfenstein: Young Blood. Yeah. Can they just name? Can you just stop like? Yeah. Taking the numbers away. All right, so we got we got we got a new Wolfenstein. What y'all think about that? It, it looked cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, only because it's not just the one dude go around killing everybody again. Uh, yeah. Uh, the downside is just two chicks running around killing everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm just like, so every hope that I had that it was gonna be something different, it kind of got crashed. But, yeah. Um, it's supposed to be a lot of consoles. Like, it even supposed to be on Stadia. Yeah, it's actually gonna be on Switch day one, yeah. which yeah, is kind of crazy. Switch game, like, like Switch, Switch third party games usually come yeah, like a year later. Yeah. So the good thing about it is that the graphics look pretty good uh, so far, what they show. Yeah. But the downside is. I like the character designs for the girls. You know, it was pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, it depends if it, if they have, because it seems like they're trying to go to like more. Oh, we have attitude kind of thing. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that is what they're trying to do because I'm tired of like it's like if you play the problem with Wolfenstein and the problem with Doom is that it was essentially the same game. Yeah, right? it feels like the same game. The only thing yeah. is, one game you're you're killing uh, Nazis and the other game you're killing demons. Yeah, so in both games you're killing demons. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's just like good point. It's like, it's like okay, cool. I just walk around killing something. And then, like, with the new Wolfenstein, they kind of made it different because they added, like, the robots and all that. Uh-huh. But, yeah. but it just seemed like it was, like, enough to matter. Yeah. Like, to, a... to me, while I was watching it, I mean, because it's Bethesda, I'm just like, whatever, same game, move on. But, like, I mean, if Wolf, if Youngblood, like, and catches my eye when I, if I watch more gameplay, yeah, that might be a pickup. Yeah. But as of right now, it just seems like the same game to me, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, it looks like the game could, could, it's not linear either. So because of uh, most like the Arcane Studio, it looks like it'll be a little better. So you know, I'm not gonna dump it automatically, but good. Um, what did they so, show gameplay for the Wolfenstein, or was it just uh, uh, pre-rendered? They, they they show some gameplay, not a lot, okay. not a lot. So it's like it's still the same main character's family. Yeah, but um, apparently this game takes takes place 20 years after Wolfenstein 2. Okay. So this, these are his daughters. Um, so you mean to tell me 20 years later the Nazis are still reign supreme? Well, they they, they got them out of um, the United States, but they're still in, in Europe. Okay. All right. Yeah, so so they pushed them out of the United States. That's That was Wolfenstein 2. And then and this one, they're supposed to, I think they're doing it in France. Yo, you actually beat that game? Wolfenstein 2? Yeah. Oh hell no! I just watched it on YouTube. <laughs> yo, I I I wanted to, but yo, I, I could not. I I couldn't. Yeah, that game was boring as hell. I, 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 I played it for like thirty minutes. And I was like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, like I, I could. I I saw you. I was watching you play. I was watching gameplay. I I just could not. I couldn't. Sorry. Yo, Ray, you play? Did you play Wolfenstein too? Never. No, good. Right, okay, good. so you didn't miss it much. You learned. I mean, I, mean, uh, I never played the series anyway. I don't know what the hell you guys talking about. Good. <laughs> uh, I mean, but based yeah, on not... what I see from this game, I mean, it looks appealing. Um, is, is it going to be co-op? Yes, it can be co-op. Yeah, it, can like, be, then, it can be if you want to be. Yeah, if you want then, it to be. Well, how, well, how many people? Up to two people? Two, two players? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so you could hook with a friend and just play for fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean that's the only reason why we'll pick it up. 
if anything. All right. So now uh, let's go to let's go to Fallout 70 shit. No, we gonna we got Ghostwire. No, no, we're gonna talk about Fallout 70 shit first. Nah, yo, we Fallout 70 shit might. Whatever, I right, let's go. Let's, let's go on this fucking. Cause I want I want to talk about the new fire <laughs> after this Fallout 70 shit. The new that way fire. We on a high note. The yeah. new fire. Oh yeah, we haven't talked yeah. about Death Loop either, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright, 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 alright. We gonna talk about this fucking game, man. Like Fallout 76. Y'all already know what this game is. It was broken at launch. It's still broken. And the f- it's still broken, and they're gonna give you a new game mode. Let's not fix the game. Let's give you some more game modes, like. Fix the game first. Like that game is unplayable. Like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, so apparently that's supposed to give the new Wastelanders update, which, which is sad, but it adds, <laughs> but but after what eight months of being out, yeah, it, add, it adds humans, human NPCs. It's like yo, it. How long did it? You, you guys, they're million dollar company, right? Not billion, right? Okay, th- whatever. Th- they're. No, let me make sure. They yeah. are they're they're one of the big you know developers in the business like they they publish games too so you know they're pretty up there. These oh Zen, Zenimax is, is a billion dollar company. Okay, so these guys got money and resources, and it took you this long to put NPCs in the fucking human NPCs. Yeah, like to put human NPCs in a fucking world. Like, are you serious? This long? Like, and on top of that, they still haven't given people their uh their bags that they promised though. Like, it's crazy. Like, the fact that people came into this conference excited for Bethesda is is, is beyond me. Like, they were praising these guys like they were fucking gods, man. Like, it's, it's honestly insane. Even after all those fuck-ups with 76, still, like, they're like, oh, nah, man, you know what? It's all good, you know? They they, they gave us good games anyway. But, but it's like I said, it's like I said, the whole problem is that we, we support it because, like, like I said, you look at nah, Skyrim. I didn't support that dog shit. You no, know, they're like <laughs> the, the gamers as a whole support them because it's like you can look at uh, Skyrim was broken. It's so it broke records one game of the year. Uh, Fallout Four was broken. It you know it, it didn't break records, but it sold a lot. Yeah, seventy six apparently sold a lot. Like. And People that game, yo, that it. game legit was unplayable at launch. Like, it's, yeah. for months it was unplayable. And yeah. people, like, I don't know, man. This shit is fucking crazy. That's like, yo, but that's the die. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, and then they're adding a nuclear winter, which is their, their battle royale. It's supposed to be 52 players, but some people said it can go up to 72. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, how you got a battle royale game and you're. They only have fifty two players for a reason yeah. for reasons, right? And, and then they and then they broke their their um their no pay to win policy either. So now you can buy now Fallout seventy six has pay to win mechanic. Wait, seventy six so. originally didn't have pay to win stuff? No, they had started adding it. Ah, oh, see see that's that's dirty yo. Like it's it's crazy. Ah oh, man. Uh Ray, yo, what you you got you got you gotta add anything to this stuff then? To follow seven and six? Yes, man. Yes. <laughs> no, this broken you can ass game. Battle royale too. I mean, you, you can. You, you yeah. saw like. Wait, like that wait, gameplay. like Fortnite? I don't, I don't know if it's like Fortnite. They didn't really show the mechanics, but they were, they were like build some kind of tower or something. Uh, you imagine like you could do Fortnite crap in this? Yeah, the. <laughs> like, I mean, yo, can they, you build? Nah, it's you can, but uh, I don't. I don't I don't, no think I don't think it's gonna be like Fortnite. Though. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it's gonna be like fast, like like Fortnite. Yeah, like nah, they, um, they can't do that with this broken ass game. I, I don't think it's gonna lead to this addiction. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, just because whatever. they're gonna have to convert it to Fortnite. Every single game that I, that has done battle royale is compared yeah. to Fortnite. And oh, if, if it doesn't lead to that hype, then they just scrub it off. Look at Apex. Yeah, it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, what's what's gonna happen? I I hope they learned a lesson. They probably did it because you know everyone's praising them and they're the king of damage controls. But like, if they ever get another seventy six incident and people are still support them, I I have no hopes for gamers now. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's all I gotta say. I I could talk trash all day. Yeah, we can move on. <laughs> um. Well, so that see, we got we got Ghostwire and Deathloop. Yeah, I got anything else to say about seventy six? All right, let's move on. Trash. Um, all right, Deathloop. They didn't really show much for Deathloop. Yeah, again, interesting because it seems that uh, every time they die, they get to play the same game over. Yeah. 
Um, and then they're a little further ahead because they know what happens next. Uh huh. Um, I want to know how far will that go, and what how how big is that to the story? Yeah, I don't. Man, I I personally didn't really grasp much of it, so you're gonna have to yeah. like fill me in on most of it. Yeah. So apparently, there's these two people on the island. Um, they they have to kill to survive, I guess. And both of them, when they die, they wake back up in the same place, but time kind of restarted. Yeah. So they have to go through the same series of events over, but each time they do, they they keep the memories of the old one, so they know what's gonna happen. And it seems like the other one doesn't. Uh, it depends on who kills who, I guess. Yeah. Uh, because the guy when he got hit in the back of the head with the with the axe or whatever. Like he died, and came back, but then when she tried to hit him in the back of the head again, he ducked it and they shot her in the face. I wonder it's how a, that. I wonder how it's gonna work work out in gameplay though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I really want to see how that works out. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. You think this is just gonna be a story driven game? I think. I think so. I think at first it's probably not gonna seem like it, but the thing is, this is Arcane Studios, right? Yeah. They usually don't make shooters like that. Yeah, that's so, true. So uh, I think I think that it's going to be story driven. Um, the question is, like, like I said, I want to know how far are they going to go because it seems like she's your enemy, or who like it seems like the guy who's on the beach is the main character, and then like the woman is is your enemy. Yeah. Right. It can be one of those things where you can play either one of them. Okay. Um, I just want to know, like, are they the enemy or is there something else bigger going on? I don't get it. So when well, they show well, more, hopefully. Yeah, we'll have to like wait to show more. Yeah. Um, you, yeah. They didn't have no release there or anything like that, right? Because it's obviously mm, still working. No, I don't think so. Let me see. Let me see. Death loop. Oh, look. Speaking about building, they just just show building right now. Oh, they did. Yeah, and you got some. Uh, you got some. You got some like dude in this armor too. Oh, this. You know what thing is that dragon thing? Look kind of interesting. That dragon bat. I wonder if that's gonna be like the battle royale. What? Like that dragon bat in the Fallout seventy six. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna be the Royale. And you think they actually took uh Firestorm's uh idea too with the circle. Oh yeah, yeah, it burns, yeah. yeah. They, they straight up stole that from Firestorm. That's crazy. Um Oh yeah, so it is gonna be a story driven game. Okay, that's that's good. I just, I wanna know how is it gonna implement that though, you know what I mean? Like you do your, yeah. your your enemy dies, they know what the next thing is gonna be you know, they know what the next move is gonna be. That's that's interesting. It's funny because you play assassins. Um, so I was like, just another dishonor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, man. Okay. Hey, man. You know, but that's the king of rehash. So, you know, these guys legit make the same games, just reskin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're like, they actually like Nintendo. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but Arcane, Arcane's pretty good at that. Kind of thing. We'll see. Yeah, Arcane we'll is probably their best studio. So. Yeah. I mean, but then again, you know, Bethesda's not making this game, so at least he'll come yeah. out not broken at launch. So. Would be good. Right. You never know. You never know. <laughs> yeah, this time around, you never know. Like there's times I'm like, yo, I'm gonna pre-order this game, and then it comes out broken. I'm like, yep, look like every, whenever I decide to pre-order one game, some bullshit happens. Oh, but, Anthem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I didn't pre-order Anthem. I oh, know you didn't, but yeah, you were but this close. To I, it. <laughs> I was re I was real close to pre-ordering Anthem, yo, real fucking close. And that game, that game is dead. Disappointing. Uh, we got one more game to talk about. You got Ghostwire. Yeah. You know, the the creator of The Evil Within, Resident Evil yeah. 4, is making this game. So we know this game's going to be fire. Uh, Tango game works. Yeah, that game's going to be fire. What y'all think yeah. about Ghostwire, yo? Oh, it looks pretty good. I mean, the Thanos snap looked pretty good. Oh, it was oh, just yeah. disappearing out of our clothes. Oh, they're really good at making a really mysterious trailer. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's gonna work in their favor or not because it didn't really seem like they show. Yeah, they didn't show much. But yeah. yeah. It just they they show like they show the mystery. So uh, I guess in that game you probably people are gonna be disappearing and whatnot. You gotta probably you know roam through this out, yeah. see what's going on, why they're disappearing, or like you trying to probably try to escape. I I don't know. Right. But, so. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, cause I would say it's Ghostwire, so my guess is that it's gonna be about like maybe you could talk to ghosts or something. Yeah, I mean, it's called Ghostwire Tokyo to be exact. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I think like it's gonna take place in Tokyo, and then yeah. maybe you know um, I mean, you gonna talk to Ghost or something like that. Yeah, so it, it looks yeah, like it, it might be that when you talk to Ghost to figure stuff out and whatnot. Yeah, so, yeah, so it might be like a whole. But it's you know, it's gonna be a horror game. Back old, so yeah, for sure. Like the horror genre is, yo, I think it's coming yeah. back, yo. It's coming, I don't know. This back. this will be might be more of a suspense. The way they made they made it seem it looks like it, it was gonna be yeah. more action. Oh, but that's like, they, they that's what they quoted. They quoted the dude to say this is a horror game. Right, right, but um, the only reason I think it's gonna be more of a suspense game than a horror game is because you know they showed the dude with I think he like had a bow or something or like a sword. Yeah. Yeah, he has some kind of weapon, and I'm just like, well, you don't have a weapon if you know. Because, like, whenever it's a horror game, they usually don't give you, like, a weapon. They usually just give you, um, especially they never start you with a weapon, I should say. Yeah. They usually give you, like, they may usually make you powerless so that you're actually afraid. That's true, that's true. So this so this might, this might be more of a, a suspenseful game where it's, like, you know, jump scares, um, stuff like that. Yeah. But we'll have to see because they didn't show yeah. release date. I mean, they didn't have gameplay either, so... Yeah. We actually yeah. might, it might, this game might it come might out next year. Yeah. And then next year at E3, they'll show some gameplay and then see what's up. So, we'll yeah, see. it was a good game. It was a good presentation, too. The the two presentators got a lot of applause. Yeah. Ain't it crazy, though? But that's the show more gameplay than Microsoft did. Yeah. That's sad. You have to be, too, dude. But that's had a lot more, except for the mobile games, had a lot of more creative games, it looked yeah. like. It's, yeah, um, they did. None, yeah, like, none. I think, but that's the only game. But that's the main in this conference was the Elder Scrolls games, and and Fallout. That's it. Everything else was the studios they own. Uh, even even in the Young Blood, um, RK Studios had a a hand in that. So yeah. So I don't know. I guess we would just have to wait and see how it how it turns out. All right. So you think you think it's a fair share that Bethesda is gonna have the best conference out of everyone? Uh. Today, yes. Um, to be honest, I think I think if I were to be like all oh, mainstream, yeah, I, th- I think it might be Ubisoft. Uh, because while I don't particularly like most of their games, most people do. Yeah. Um, and then it depends, and it also depends on what um, Square Enix shows. Because Square Enix has a lot of big franchises. A lot of people sleep on Square Enix. That's true. And then it also show, depends on what Nintendo shows. Nintendo because... right now, Square is gonna show Final Fantasy. Oh, for sure. They're gonna show that Marvel game. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we'll have to see. I mean, I personally don't think that is they're gonna be crazy. Even Nintendo yeah, wait, wait. Is direct. Sorry. Right, it, but it comes down to what, what Nintendo shows. I think because there's a, Nintendo has probably what besides besides um. Microsoft Nintendo has like the most anticipated games because this year was supposed to be amazing for them. Yeah. Um. Because, but this year is supposed to be like what? Um. People are hyped for Astro Chain, Fire Emblem, Luigi's Mansion, um, Mario Maker. But we already know about that. Yeah. Um. They're gonna introduce the the what, third Smash Bros. DLC character. Um. They're supposed to have um. Bayonetta. Which they showed I think two years ago now. Just have um, Metroid Prime, but we don't know if they're nah, gonna show anything sorry, because it got held back. That's not yeah. gonna be that's not gonna be there. Yeah, yeah and no. no, and it's also anticipated it's gonna be Animal Crossing. And so it's like they have a lot of their big games up for display, uh, rumored to be up for the display. If it's true, then they probably have the best one. If it's not, then it's still be probably pretty decent. Because those are just the games we know. They could still come out with a pack a uh, Pikmin. Uh, Paper Mario stuff like that. Uh, their B tier games, and so they can depending on what they show. If they didn't drip feed too much, especially around the holiday season, then it can end up with a pretty pretty strong lineup. Other than that, I'll have to say, it'll most likely be Ubisoft because, like I said, it's like they have Beyond Good and Evil, uh, and last last year they dropped a bombshell with a huge ass twist. Uh, and then you know. Supposed to be Watch Dogs 3. Yeah. And after Watch Dogs 2, people really wanted to. After Watch Dogs 2, people really want to know where the franchise is going to go. Um, yeah, and then, you know, the obvious just dance, all that stuff that sells like gangbusters. So it really depends. But my, I'll put money on Nintendo or Ubisoft. It's fucking crazy. Or just dance, man. 
Yeah, it sells every year, man. That's ridiculous. Oh. Ah, never what I thought. Just Dance be a great hit. All right. Um. So what what do you give at uh, the conference? Uh, what you think? Bad, good, or great? I'll say seven point five. <laughs> Y'all, I I was actually leaning on eight, but because fuck Bethesda, I'm giving them seven. <laughs> and the reason why I say seven point five is because like. I for sure is better than Microsoft. Yeah, but I didn't like uh, a lot of what they showed was not games. Yeah, and, and the two new games that were interesting, they didn't really show much of, and everything else was kind of mobile. Mm-hmm. And everything else was kind of like catching up. Like that Fallout seventy six, they just added human NPCs, which is pathetic. Uh, a, a battle royale that can't even hit 100 players, which yeah. is bad. It's crazy. They needed an E3 conference to sh- tell you, yeah, we got NPCs now, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online, which is update, blades update. Like most of it, except for like maybe three things, which is updates. And I'm just like, well, that's kind of bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but they did have, but they did beat some of my expectations with some of these games, like Ghostfire, Deathloop, even Youngblood. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's the thing. You're like. I I gotta give credit where it's due you know they surprised me with Ghostwire Deathloop looked interesting too um even uh, the Wolfenstein Youngblood you know it was like I I didn't get too crazy about it but it was a different take so you know it's it's different um but those two games Deathloop and Ghostwire are definitely the the games I'll be looking forward for Bethesda but I'm gonna wait for the games to come on Game Pass anyway, because I ain't supporting these motherfuckers. So, uh, yo, Ray, what you think about the conference? I mean, I will give it a a six, solid six. And the reason why is because I'm not too familiar with the games in general, right? No, but well, what did then, you think about the overall, you know, the overall, presentation? The overall presentation, I think it was better than than EA Play. Oh, hell because yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> yo, EA <laughs> is always gonna be the worst conference uh, every uh, year. Well, that wasn't a conference. Well, it, was, it was a it was a live thing, but, but it, still, it, it, it kind of reminded me of it just because there were some games that were just updates. Yeah. They were just giving updates. Oh, they yeah, yeah, This is what we're including in this. Yeah, game. like I think that's what, basically what, how it started at the beginning. It was, right? it was let me see. Rage Two, Elder Scrolls Online, seventy six. Bl- I think uh, Blades. Blades. Yeah. Um, and Legends. Yeah. Were all updates. That's five yeah. games you dedicated to just updates on a conference. It's, yeah, it's, that's crazy. Continue, Ray. My man's. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Um, that's what. I, <laughs> no, no. That's why I said that it was better than EA Play. EA Play, because um, EA Play just mainly focuses on giving updates to the games that already have released. Yeah. This one, at least, they show up some of the games they're working towards the future in this case they're doing the same thing as almost uh microsoft did that they're just holding back for the economy three of, of next year right they just yeah. show the things they're working on and they say okay this is for the future don't get too hype that's right. why they didn't show up any gameplay something that a lot of people were like oh yeah i like the game i like where it's going but there's no gameplay so i can really judge it 100 percent yeah uh, it's almost like showing Anthem and no showing no gameplay you get me uh, uh people were gonna ha- get hype uh, it's like oh don't, damn don't, might be don't, a game don't, of the don't, year don't, 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 don't even don't mention that game, game in my proximity yo. Like, yeah <laughs> yo, like, yeah. you know what it's like we're serving <laughs> yeah yo that's another thing too it's like um that I, re- I remember um ubisoft might also have another nintendo game in the pocket another think, nintendo you, you, you think so or you think it's gonna be another uh rabbits uh, expansion Honestly, I, I think they might have another IP in the pocket. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but they might. like Because it's like I said, after Zombie U flop, and, and they, stuck their, they stuck their neck off of Nintendo, I'm pretty sure they got some kind of deal in return. Yeah. Um, I, I, we'll so. see. We'll see. We'll see. Yo, if, if you, well, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, uh, me, personally, I'll give it a 7. Even a seven, honestly, seven and a half is fair because they did show, they did keep me interesting as the conference was going, despite me not liking them because of certain reasons. 
but they did keep me interested. They showed games. <laughs> they showed gameplay of games, unlike Microsoft. Um, so I gotta give credit where it's due. You know, they they did a good job. Every year they kind of always the fucking deliver, and I you know I get salty for that, but whatever. Seven and a half, pretty good conference, I guess. And uh, we'll move on to the next one tomorrow. See how those do too. Y'all should give it a le- one point less, just because of the Albion. We're fucking annoying. Yo, so, 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 let's talk about that audience real quick. Yo, let, I think it's like you said. They Yo, they planted. Yo, they were they were bought, bought out, bro. There's no way that you had the whole crowd excited for you knowing that you cheated them out of one game, several games. There's no there's, there's no way, bro. Like I, I I found that very baffling that these guys yeah, are like over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, bro, like they legit stole your money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they really were. I'm just like, it was really suspicious, like how they were doing it too. I'm just like, like they always got this loud, yeah, and I'm just like, they didn't say anything. Yeah, but, I remember there was one time when Microsoft had fake audience, like, yeah. and we were like, oh shit, people are actually cheering for these these guys, like people, like people are excited for this, and it turns out that it was a fake audience. That shit, yo, they were getting roasted for so long when that happened, bro. So here, they don't have a fake audience, but they have real people. I but... think I think it wasn't a fake audience per se, but I think it has to do with that. I think they they were employees or people who work in the company or for development center in games, and obviously they're gonna be hyped for everything, and they're gonna be like cheering on for everyone. And to be honest, it just came out as an, very annoying because yeah, you know, yeah it things, was like, annoying. It was I, very I, annoying. Yeah, some things like why are you fucking cheering for, bro? Like this. Yeah. Is very yo, yo, when yo, Tom when Tom Howard um sh- showed up, everyone like stood up, clapped. Yo, can not fix your mic? Uh, every because I can hear myself. Um, yo, when Tom Howard showed up, everyone stood up. Todd Howard. Who? Todd Howard. Oh, Todd Howard. I said Tom Howard. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Todd Howard, the, the you know the Bethesda guy, Mr. Death yeah. Control. This guy showed up and everyone was cheering for him. Stood up, were clapping. I'm just like, are y'all for real? Like, yeah. This guy legit lied to y'all in the IGN interview, and y'all still praise the man. Oh. It's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. Uh, oh, but like I said, they they still did their job. They did their thing. Yeah, they did that. Besides all that stuff, you know, they came through, did their thing, give credit oh, where it's due. So. Yeah. Good job, Bethesda. You get one clap. Now let's move on. I'm tired of talking about them already. What happened? Yeah. So, so no, tomorrow is Ubisoft and Square next. Yeah, tomorrow is Ubisoft Square. These guys are going to take over because I got stuff Actually, to do. Maybe Sony. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, they'll yeah, have to figure out if Sony's going to do it. I, 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 I don't think they are. Well, are they gonna do? They're gonna have because yeah, uh, it's, cause it's they, supposed to be at six, but that's where Square Enix starts. I think there's just gonna be a YouTube video, maybe. So if you if we find a video, I mean, we can do it. Thing we got was like um, even on their channel, they don't have it. On, they don't have it like planned. Oh, so they usually they usually do. Yeah. Maybe it's just a rumor then. Yeah, it might be just a rumor, or someone made a mistake. Yeah, or someone just lying. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I right, see. So, I. Right. This this is the you know Bethesda discussion whatever we got we we said our thoughts you know Bethesda die you know, just die we out of here and uh, we'll be back tomorrow so okay. like comment subscribe you know you already know the deal if y'all didn't like it talk shit in the comment sections deuces. <laughs>